Welcome to Upticks. I'm Jake Falcon, the founder of Falcon Wealth Advisors and your host of Upticks. Today's episode 179, Client Operations with Samantha Waters. Sam, thank you for finally joining me on an episode of Upticks. It's you almost we almost hit 200 before you were on a show. Wow. Thank you for having me. I'm very excited it, to be here. Yeah, it, it is exciting. And you know, we surveyed our clients at the end of 2021. And overwhelmingly, they said that they wanted more team members on Upticks. Okay. So uh, the, we're giving the people what they want. Right? <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> right. So but I think this episode is very important, not only for current clients, but for also potential clients, because it's very interesting uh, to me, practicing now for over 15 years, how many wealth management practices and firms handle client operations and service differently. So the reason we're having you on the show today is we want to talk about how you, who lead that group on our team, how you guys handle service, in my opinion, quite a bit differently than other firms. But before we dive into that. I wanted to talk, I wanted to give the audience again, a little bit more of your background, Sam. So why don't you talk about kind of where you're from and, and uh, how you and I got to working together and, and go over your backstory here. Sure. I am from Carrollton, Missouri. That is where I was raised. I went to high school. After that, I did move to Kansas City for college and started working at a former firm, uh, basically in a temporary position. I worked there all through college. That's actually where we met. And where'd you go to school? Uh, I went to Park University. Yeah, oh, good. The Kansas Park City. Pirates, right? That's right, Park Pirates. <laughs> yes. I and what was your major, Sam? I had I majored in finance, business with an emphasis in finance and a minor in economics. Awesome. Yep. So I lived in Kansas City through all of that, and I uh, actually officially made the move back to Carrollton about four years ago. So now commuting back and forth for work, which is a long drive, but it's worth it. And I'm happy to do that. So uh, Jake and I met at our former employer and then ended up working together there for about 10 years and then started Falcon Wealth Advisors. And I've been here ever since. The rest is history. Yeah. So how long is that drive from Carrollton? Depending on traffic, it can be an hour and 15 minutes to an hour and 45 minutes, but average hour and a half. Right, right. And you're married with two kiddos, right? Yes, yes. My husband and I live in Carrollton with our twins, Jackson and Ava. They'll be three in April. Gosh, they're already going to be three? Yeah, that's pretty crazy. I was thinking wow. about that. I always say they're two and a half, but they're actually closer to almost three now. So April, right? Yep, April 3rd. Awesome. So they're twins. And, and you were telling me the other day, so you, what time do you leave your house every day? I try to leave by 6.20 every morning to Got drop it. them off at the babysitter and then drive to Kansas City. Right, and you get in the office uh, at around eight o'clock every day. That's the goal. Awesome, right, right. So you and I met, what year was it again that we started working together? We started working together in 2008. We met in probably 2006. Got it, because that's when I started at our mm -hmm. former firm too. So I started in yes. 2006, you were already there with another team and then you joined yes. our team in 2008. So this is our 14th year basically yes. working together. Wow. In September, it'll be 14 years. Wow, that's awesome. So thank you. And in 2016, you came over with me and Corey uh, and helped us launch Falcon Wealth Advisors. Yes. Um, and there, so let's, so you've always worked in client services. Um, maybe why don't you explain to our audience why you never, because you have your Series 7 and Series 66 licenses. So you actually technically could be a financial advisor, but mm -hmm. why have you always stayed in client service and, and what do you like most about it? I have stayed in client service because I never really had the interest in selling and advising the clients when it came to, you know, their actual financial plan and things like that, that you guys advise on. I always enjoy the relationship part of it, which you really get to enjoy, or you get to do that through client operations, you know, building the relationship, really being able to help them and see the impact that you're having with them. So that's, uh, that's really the reason why I always stuck to operations. Uh, I'm just, I'm just curious. Um, so you've got, so you've got your licenses. Uh, you like having the relationship part. Uh, I completely understand that. So you don't, you don't basically like talking about 
um, why someone should use our services, you want them already plugged in and, and developing a relationship from that point on, which is really what operations yes. does. Yes. Right. And as you know, as a financial advisor, there are some difficult conversations around, you know, if market, if your plan, you know, if their plan's kind of stressed. And that part is really just not my cup of tea. I much prefer being on the other side of it where I get to just help them and the things are usually a little more in my control, you know, and being able to just give them what they're looking for. Yeah, find makes, answers for them. So you let me handle all the tough work and you get all yep. the easy stuff. That's <laughs> okay, <right. laughs> fair enough. Good to know after 14 years. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, yeah. good. So so let's talk about your group a little bit more. So now we've got four, pe four full-time people in your group, including yourself. And we also have two part-time uh, teammates as well. So let's start off though, probably with Abby Mustin, because many of our new clients are meeting Abby. Um, they meet Abby more often than before they meet you now, right? They do. Yes. So why don't yeah, you explain Abby, what Abby does uh, in her role on the team? Sure. Abby primarily focuses on the onboarding process, which basically is gathering your new, uh, the information to open your new accounts sending the new account paperwork to the clients and then making sure everything gets open with Schwab and then helping to facilitate the transfers that are coming into the Schwab accounts. Right, which is a, which is a big task in and of itself. Now, yes. so we signed up over 100 cl new clients in 2021 and this doesn't even count. Many of our existing clients will open up additional accounts as well. They may open up a Roth IRA or a checking account or a brokerage account or a trust right? Or, or something. Right. So all that happens during the year. But on top of that, we signed up a hundred new clients. So that's literally Abby's full-time job. Yes. And what did we do before that? Did we, did you just do it or did other, did we kind of just ad hoc? How did that work? Yes. Yeah. I did focus on that. If you, I mean, I used to sit in the meetings with paperwork signing and everything, which is so much different now, you know, we do most everything virtually. Right. So I did a lot of it for a long time. And then we added uh, you know, different people in yep. operations and they started picking up on those tasks. So we kind of split it out. Got it. Got it. So, so Abby's, you know, specialty on our team is onboarding anything new account opening, getting mm -hmm. everybody set up and, and established. Why don't we transition then and talk about uh, what Mari does, right? Mari McGraw, sure. who's joined our team. How long has Mari been on the team now? About a year? It was a year in December. Yes. Awesome. So just right. over a year. <laughs> yep. So explain Mari's role for everybody, please. Sure. Mari is typically the first person that answers the phone. She can handle anything from a distribution request to sending paperwork, transferring accounts. You know, she really can help with any client service need once you are onboarded and officially, you know, the accounts are all set up. So would you suggest that Mari is our new Sam? I think so. Yes. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, I know she hasn't been doing this 14 years. She definitely has a lot of career experience. She came over from a, an insurance agency. So, mm -hmm. uh, and she's also licensed, which is awesome. Is. And so is yep. Abby Musson, by the way, mm -hmm. um, which is great. So that they know the, the lingo and, and the terminology and, and the rules. Right. Um, but I believe, you know, Mari now is taking a lot of that, those one-off questions, the day-to-day -day flow of items that frankly, you used to handle for most all of our clients. Yes, um, that's true. And, and the Mari reality is, our, it's crazy. So when we left our former firm, we uh, about around, uh, what was it? Around maybe 200, 300 clients joined us. Mm -hmm. uh, well, yes. well, today we have over 650 clients. So that's the reason we've had to build out a whole operations group, right? It, it, it used to be you as the primary and then one or two assistants kind of the, would work along your side and kind of help the overflow. Right. But, but now we've had to really further define roles so that we could continue to, to function and, and the clients uh, on their side really have seen no interruption to, to their service level. Right. And that's what, all been that's on purpose. Goal. Yeah, exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. Good. So Mari, again, Mari's typically handling the inbound calls, the distribution requests, the one-off things. Mm -hmm. um, she's awesome at that. And she's also doing proactive service calls. Why don't you explain what that is a little bit, Sam? Sure. A proactive service call happens after your review, typically a couple of months after the review in between your next meeting. And that's just checking in. We are trying to basically expand the information that we have on our clients. Also add some security features to your accounts. That's very important to us. We want to be able to verify you when you call, if you are a newer client. You know, so it's important for us to have those verifying factors 
in our system and really just making sure that everything we have on file is up to date. Right, that, that's excellent because you're right. You know what's fascinating and I've been telling clients about this that I literally have some clients that I don't even know what they look like. Yes. Be because of COVID <laughs> and technology. And so it's all been done over the phone. Right. And um, th that's, it's, it's weird because I am such a in-person handshake. You and I both are like, you know, yes. I, we both grew up in small towns. So relationships are very important to us. And it's weird. To, and, I, and I love it that, I, that we do have clients in, in 30 states now, but that's another reason that I think it's very important that the rest of our team get to know our clients. And so that's why Mari is reaching out, collecting some more information, making sure that our records are up to date, like you said, and accurate. Right. Um, and frankly, for security reasons, like you said, yes. it's so important that we that we have all that stuff in order with, um, you know, cybersecurity being, you know, and fraud mm -hmm. and identity yes. theft. Our mission is to obviously take that very seriously and protect our client's identity uh, almost at all costs, right? Because it's, it's extremely right. important. It is. Good. So let's talk about your, your third member of the group. And obviously you're the fourth member, uh, but Maddie Crawford, who Maddie's worked with us for almost four years now, right? I think it's coming yes, up on four her four years. Four yes. Coming up on her four year anniversary. Yeah. And Maddie's done a little bit of everything. She started out as a front desk, yep. uh, went over to financial planning and helped us as a para planner. Uh, and then she actually volunteered to go back into your group, Sam. So you must've been doing something right uh, when so. we needed. So why don't we talk about what Maddie does? Yes, Maddie is handling overflow of all client operation tasks. So whether it is helping Abby Messam with the new account, you know, the paperwork preparation or helping Mari send funds out, she really is just kind of a catch-all and can take on any of those operation tasks. So she also answers the phone. You'll probably hear her voice quite a bit and really just, uh, you know, she takes overflow work and is happy to do that. Right. Yeah. So she's good because she's been on our team a little bit longer. It's nice having her be a little bit of a rover, yes. uh, even though she's a little newer to operations, she certainly knows how our team operates. Yes. Uh, Maddie's also been huge in helping us prepare and organize our webinars. Mm -hmm. um, my weekly email that goes out on Tuesdays, Maddie does all of that prep work. And so She's good with our deliverables and our content um, that we're cranking out for our clients. So my show upticks, Corey's show in the Money Insight, making sure all that stuff uh, is prepared and ready um, to go out on time. So that's been right. very helpful having that as well. Yeah. So great, Sam. So it sounds like you got this great team around. So we got Abby Musson onboarding all the new clients, opening up the accounts, doing the rollovers, the transfers. Uh, Mari's the, you know, the, basically the, the first impression, answering the phones, uh, handling the day-to-day -day requests. Maddie is, is basically supporting both of them whenever they have overflow. So Sam, what in the world do you do? <laughs> Sit back and relax. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt that. So what, is, no, so what does your role look like now that we, we basically, I forgot to mention this, by the way, that we also promoted you to partner, right? Yes. So that's a big deal. Yes. So yep, um, in December, that was very, uh, very exciting to become a partner. Yep, absolutely. So as a partner now, why don't you explain to everybody what your role is on the team? Yes. So I'm still working in client operations. I can help out with any of the things that we've listed for Abby, Mari, and Maddie, but my primary focus is really on uh, special projects, maybe more complex things that the team doesn't have experience on. And then also mentoring and training the team. And then I've also taken on some HR type responsibilities for the business. Right. Yeah. So it's great. So you're helping with payroll, um, mm -hmm. you know, helping us track benefits. Um, yep. Really managing the off, what's that? Oh, sorry, onboarding new employees, helping right. with new hires. Mm -hmm. Yeah, technology, all of those things that yes. uh, really Corey was doing a lot of it before. So, it, so yep. it's great that you've been able to take that kind of, and we shifted that over to you as a partner uh, to help Corey and I manage a, a piece of that with the team. And we're very fortunate. Our team is full of adults. So we don't, our team has unlimited vacation days, for example. So even though we do right. technically track it, you're not having to remind them like you have three days left in the year or blah, blah, blah. So it's, it's, <laughs> no. um, it's really pretty easy. I know for you to do, but it's nice that you're helping manage that. And also as we upgrade our technology or, or buy new office furniture, you're helping manage that and, and making sure right. that uh, the office is running uh, smoothly. So, so good. So clients, I know will um, about half of your time is probably spending doing a partner activities and, and training and mentoring. And the other half of the time you're still rolling up your sleeves and doing, whatever a client needs, obviously. Right. right. Yes. Yeah. Yep. So I don't want the clients to think that you're completely removed from that. You're certainly yep. happy to help them and anything they need. Of 
Uh, but that's the reason we've hired people around you is to handle with that day-to-day -day flow of some of the, the simple tasks so that you can handle some of the more complex transactions as they take place. I know we always talk about like you, how you've helped move money in from France and right. Some of these I did do that. great crazy yeah. one-off things <laughs> that um, your experience uh, is certainly worth And that's where we want to make sure that your time is best spent right. um, on there. Now we also have two part-time employees, uh, Abby Kurt and Luke mm -hmm. Sullivan. Why don't you explain uh, what they do for our clients? Sure. So they both work part-time instead of the front desk. They may greet you whenever you come into the office, very friendly, kind people. And they primarily focus on scheduling and really, uh, you know, administrative tasks that operations doesn't necessarily need to be involved in. Luke sends a lot of emails to our clients whenever they refer people to us and also anniversary emails, you know, he'll send out lots of communication with clients regarding those types of things. They really just help kind of behind the scenes with administrative tasks. What else would they, I mean, uh, scheduling. You know, just, that's good. Yeah. The normal birthday flows and mailings yes. and things that mm -hmm. we do of that nature. And, and a quick two things on that. So many of our clients to know that we have opened our office uh, for 2022 yes. back up. Uh, we, you know, obviously the pandemic is still a thing and we want everybody's safety to continue to be a priority. So if, if a client is feeling symptomatic or has been exposed, we do uh, politely ask that maybe we either reschedule the meeting or uh, do a virtual one on Zoom or, or via phone. But if, but if you're healthy and, and you feel comfortable, our offices are open. You know what's fascinating, Sam, is that even though we've opened our offices, I would say still probably two thirds of my meetings are still virtual, which I'm, I'm completely okay with. So again, I think the whole world has gotten so much more comfortable embracing and using technology that I don't know if it'll ever go back to the way it was before, which again, I miss because I'm a handshake guy. I, I prefer seeing right. my clients in person, but it doesn't matter really. I mean, it, it's whatever the client feels more comfortable with. So again, we've got Zoom, we've got phones, obviously, and right. we've got in-person meetings available. And through my scheduling link, which is a pretty neat investment in technology yeah. that we made, actually Luke and Abby can send that out to you when it's time for your review and you can pick and choose which format and what time you do choose to meet, um, you do choose to meet in, right? So, which is, right. which is really awesome in there. Um, like I said, Luke, Luke and Abby will, will meet you. They'll be, you know, they'll get you set up if you do come in the office, but we do have that handy technology to meet virtually or in person, your choice. Um, and then I've got my meetings blocked off in 30 minute increments so that I've got plenty of capacity now to meet with clients. And, and the idea is that we want to be very focused on your financial plan and your investments and any other questions, of course, that you have. And that's how we're taking those meetings um, and, and moving forward. So they've been really helpful in keeping us caught up uh, on all of that, you know, on all of those meetings and making sure we're not behind, which is great. Yes. Yep. Good. So that's the team. And so, and, and currently we are interviewing, right? We are. Yes. Client operations. It feels like we always need help. <laughs> yeah. So. I mean, it's, well, if, if you think about it, we have grown. I mean, last year alone, we grew fast enough uh, that basically we grew as large as some small practices are. Like literally, we, yeah. that's how much we just grew, right? Some, yeah. some small practices are the size that we onboarded new clients alone, and that's all they have, right? And yeah. so with that, my expectation is that we are going to almost have that now hiring sign always lit. <laughs> because, <I think> so. <laughs> right, we've been very fortunate that we, we have yes. some amazing clients now all over the country. And that's why we're here. I mean, ultimately, um, you know, our, our niche is really the, the person that's at or near retirement. Typically, they work at a publicly traded company. So they have some company stock that needs managed. And we're just finding more and more of that uh, is coming through. And so uh, we want to be sure that our service level doesn't drop. Uh, while we are onboarding, obviously, new clients. So that's why it's right. very important that we that we keep that group organized and and staffed and continue to hire new people. So, so I'm excited that we're looking to bring on at least one or two people, maybe more part-time help. But you and I, I know, are figuring all of mm -hmm. that out right now. Um, but that's good. And I, I did uh, prepare you. I wanted to, and maybe this question, I, hopefully you had time to think about it, was that I, I wanted to ask you, um, what was it? What, what should clients know or that they don't know or, or what should they be asking you that they, they haven't? That's a great question. <laughs> and I did have time to prepare. I think that one thing I would like clients to know is that our team works as an ensemble. 
So where you may have worked with just Jake and I in the past, we have an entire team that's here working for you. You know, we have the research and trading group, the financial planning group, all of client operations, Jake and Corey, both in the wealth management area. You know, we all are familiar with who you are and can help you. So where, you know, you may just be used to working with a, a couple of us, we are all here to help. So I think that's nice and, you know, hopefully reassuring for people that, you know, if I'm not available or Jake's not available or whoever you're used to working with, Abby Messon, you know, that we have the entire team here to work for you and we're all happy to help. That's a really good point, Sam, because we have shifted away from that. We, you and I grew up together um, yes, we working, did. At, working in what's called a silo. And so it was yes. very much, um, you know, some of my clients have worked with us, you and I, for a lot of them for over a decade now. And so yes. they're very used to, I talk to Jake, everything about my plan and my investments and retirement. And I talk to Sam about everything else. Right. Right. <laughs> And you're right. And, and we love doing that, obviously, and we're happy to do that. But, but you're right. I don't ever want a client waiting to get an answer because you and I are off doing something else or certainly right. if you're with your kids uh, or I'm playing golf, right? So that's important to know that we have 12 people on our team. And like you said, we're, we're an ensemble. So clients can think of that as um, cheesy, like an orchestra, right? That's the whole like, concept is that so all of us are playing a role in our clients' lives. So if it's a question about the market and it's not advice related, they can talk to Abby and Matthew who do our sure. research and trading, right? Yes. Or if they wanna see a different financial planning projection run, they can talk to one of our four, now we have four financial planners on our team. Right. And like you said, if a client needs to pull out 20, 30, $50,000, you know, Abby, Mari, or Maddie can certainly help them accomplish that. Yes, exactly. So it's, it's good to know that, and hopefully as if a client is watching this right now, they should feel a lot of confidence in knowing that, yeah, I know I've got Jake and Sam, uh, obviously if I need anything, but they've built a whole team of, you know, technical people around them to carry out these, these tasks. So that when I need something, I don't have to be so dependent on waiting on one person. Exactly. Right. Yep. I think that's very, and we're going to continue to build it out that way. So all of the, um, ex especially the, the macro advice and strategy is certainly still going to come from Corey and I, but again, all everybody else around us is just executing on that strategy. And that's why, we, that's why we built it out. Same with you. So you have a client operations way about that. that you guys do things that strategy is coming from you. Yes. And then Mari, Maddie and Abby are just executing on that every day for you. Right. That's correct. Yeah. Good. So uh, thank you. So uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I didn't, I didn't plug this. Usually I do a, take a time out and do a commercial Sam, but you, we just had it oh. rolling. So uh, <laughs> if you're watching this on YouTube, please thumbs up five stars on your podcast. I'm on LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Uh, Sam, I think you're on Facebook, right? I am. I'm yeah. on Facebook. So if you want to connect Instagram, with Sam, but I've, Link I've never ahead. posted on Instagram. I just have it. Got it. So Facebook is Facebook. where you post LinkedIn a little bit, maybe, maybe not so much. I don't know. Yeah. A little. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Um, okay. And we're coming up, we're recording this on a Friday before the three-day weekend, Sam. So you got any, I know you're off on Friday, so you got a four-day weekend. Do you have any yes. plans? I have, so I'm actually going to go on a little mini vacation with my husband and kids. We're going to go swimming in a hotel over the weekend, get out of town for a little while. Got it. Got it. What hotel yeah. are you going like a local one, a staycation or what do you Yeah. Do? Yeah. It's basically a staycation. It's only like 30 minutes from home. Nice. So, yeah. Well, that'll be good. That'll be yes. good. Good to have a little, little staycation. And, um, yes, I think I'm finally going to take down Christmas. Have you taken down Christmas yet? I did that last weekend. Nice. Yes. With resistance from the kids. They wanted to leave the Christmas tree up. They love the lights, but it had to come down. It <laughs> Got it. Got it. Yes. So I think my plan is to take uh, take down Christmas and uh, get some re relax a little bit. We've been we've been burning it at both ends. I feel like so it'll be a good little recharge this weekend to to get some downtime. So it'll be nice. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. You too. And thank, uh, you. thank you all for tuning in. Thank you. And if you have any questions, Sam, what's the best way to get a hold of you? You can just give me a call at. Uh, do you want me to put my number? Yeah. Okay. Nine one three. 326-1903, or you can email me at Samantha at falconwealthadvisors.com. Perfect. Yeah. Or thank you. Go ahead. Service at falconwealthadvisors.com. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So that service email goes to the whole team except for Corey and myself. 
Uh, yes. So good, a lot of ways to get a hold of Sam. She just shared her yep. direct line, her email, and that service email. Perfect. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Thank, thank you, Sam, for joining me on the show. Thank you for having me. It's been of, great. Of course. And uh, we hope all of you out there have a great day. Oh, 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 oh,